Thank you, Swamiji. Swamiji is closely related with Arshavadya Gurukulam, and Arshavadya Gurukulam is uh, a place that children and parents can go alike to enlighten themselves spiritually. So, Arshavadya Gurukulam, the main thing is only for like having fun. And a lot of kids do have fun there, but that is through, through uh, having uh, spiritual enlightenment with the people that they can enjoy. So, I think Ankita is going to talk a little bit more about that. So hi, I'm Ankita. Um, like Ankush, I'm very closely related to Arshita de Gurukulam. I like to go there many times a year to go and learn and just see all of my friends. And through Arshita de Gurukulam, I actually learned about Amphrasepa and the GYLP trip, which occurs every single year. The Global Youth Leadership Trip, for GYLP, is when a group of high schoolers go to India and we actually get to visit the Chandralaya and teach the students there. So I went in 2016 and Ankush went in 2017 and 2018. And we were able to teach students English, science, math, computer science, and history. And we were actually able to learn from them as well. So right now, we are going to go and actually take a trip in the past. So the year is the 1960s, and we're in India in a small village in UP. This is an area that's south of Delhi. Here, we would like to introduce to you a young girl who is living in a village with her loving family. Let's call her Pooja. Now, Pooja and her brothers, they would do everything together. They would play together, they would walk to school together, and even study together. But this all was changed when she got into 10th grade. As her year finished, she was told that she wasn't able to go and finish her last two years of high school because the rest of school was in another town. And this was when she was a bit confused, but she realized that this was an obstacle that was presented to many young girls because they weren't available to go to other cities where education was available. Pooja was devastated that she couldn't attend a school like her brothers because of the next town, and that the only reason was that she was a girl, and it was a reason she couldn't accept. But do not fear, folks. We have one determined girl on our hands. Pooja was determined to finish her schooling just like her brothers. When she could not win the battle of traveling over an hour to school each way, she did, not, she did get the support to continue her education via male correspondence forces. In her own little way, she won a battle that most girls sadly won. However, Pooja's story does not end here. Let's fast forward 50 years in the future to the end of our spectacular 2018 Memorial performance. The Infosafe organization received a call from a woman who expressed interest in donating funds for the construction of a Chakralaya, all to ensure children in her village back in India can have equal access to education. Pooja, the determined young girl who fought to finish her education, is this generous girl. Yes, Pooja got married and emigrated to the U.S. with her husband and moved to the suburbs of Philly. She traveled to India last year and visited children in Karnakraya. These children were being housed in a rental facility as the funds for the child pralaya had not been known. She inter interacted with the children and was able to see up close how a child pralaya could provide vital support for children. After this visit, Pooja was so inspired that she donated $100,000 to help complete the construction of the Jagnalaya in Karnataka. Pooja has helped 65 children pursue education by funding this Jagnalaya. Ladies and gentlemen, we think that this donor deserves a special round of applause. and she just wished she had more money to build more chakralayas. In the words of Pooja, when the right hand gives dana, the left hand should not know, as dana is not done to elevate one's ego. These words of her are why we have respected her wishes and have kept her identity anonymous. She has donated and dedicated these funds in honor of her grandchildren as a way to continue the legacy of giving back to aid for Seba. Ladies and gentlemen, you may not have faced the same obstacles as Pooja, but we are sure her story has touched your life. We know that there are many such folks in this audience who feel that they would like to do the same as Pooja. So when the special events such as birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, and other events happen, I take the opportunity and make those events meaningful by making a donation to help these children. Please make a donation and help us bridge the gap between these, cho between these children and an education, and give them the chance, just like your kids. 